Hello, beautiful people. So, I was told that last night when Molly Go Lightly was live, she went to my channel and watched some of my roast videos. And there are a few about her from like four months ago. And as I was told, she epically lost her shit after seeing them. Epically lost her shit. So, she decided to call me out publicly in front of like a thousand people and say that I'm a bully, I operate a hate channel, and that I'm the reason why people want to unalive themselves. Yes, she said that. Now, people use this word a lot on YouTube incorrectly, but that's actually a really good example of slander. Not cool. Not cool at all. And really rich coming from someone who just recently harassed someone outside their job, got them fired, went around to their car window and said, sorry your baby's dead. Sorry you have no soul. Yes, and I'm a big old bully. Now, I have a channel that is a roast and a comedy channel. It's not a bully channel or a hate channel. My sketches are not personal because I don't know you, okay? I roasted you four months ago because I thought you were hilarious and entertaining and fun to watch, okay? Quite the opposite of hate. Now, it's impossible for me to be a bully. The definition of a bully is someone who seeks out a vulnerable and weak person to harm and intimidate them. Are you weak and vulnerable, Molly? Because I thought you were a badass bitch. Now, let's look at the word in there. Seek. Seek means I go to you. Okay? So, when you go to my channel and watch my videos, that is the opposite of me seeking you out. Okay? So, you watching me is not the same as me bullying you. Got it? So let's just ixnay that from the vocabulary. Now, hate is a strong word. To hate someone, you have to actually emotionally be invested and care about them in some way. Okay? Now, I don't. I don't care about you. I don't mean that in a bad way, but I don't know you. I don't like you. I don't dislike you. I mean, you're basically a complete stranger. Okay? And I don't give that much time, energy, or thought to strangers. All right? I roast a character and people's behaviors that they give me and show me on YouTube. That's it. It's not personal. And it's really not that much more than that. See, there's a big difference between you doing things like going on panel with that Michelle girl and ruining her and humiliating her and then talking all about money and your expensive little town in little old Pennsylvania. Okay? Big difference from that and a comedic sketch. Okay? Now, if you are upset at my roasts, realize you're upset at seeing your own behaviors. And if you don't like that, change them. Okay? You're getting butt hurt at a channel called Just Say No to Butt Hurt. That doesn't really sound too cool, okay? It's like getting really mad after being punked. So stop taking my comedic sketches personally because they're not. And if you don't like my style of comedy, just don't watch me, okay? You don't need to call me out and say I'm a bully, okay? I'm not a bully. Now, Marissa, you said that I'm the reason why people unalive themselves. That's a big statement considering you actually did that to someone not too long ago. See, I thought you said you didn't care. You had tough, thick skin. You rose above the YouTube drama. You want to act so tough, but yet you get completely unraveled by me? Me? Oh, me? Look. You have an insatiable need to be the center of attention all the time. And you have an insatiable need to be liked by everyone all the time. YouTube is a huge part of your life and what makes up your self-esteem. And you need that. And there's nothing wrong with that. But clearly, while you say you don't give a fuck, I really don't give a fuck. And that bugs the shit out of you. So many people have roasted. People have been cruel to you. 
and nothing bothers you. You don't care. Get the hell out of here, right? You know? And then here comes little old me with my little old channel and you lose your shit. Lose your shit. Think about that. Think about that. Why is that, Molly? Why? Let's think about that. Let's be truthful with ourselves, okay? Let's do that, right? Now, here's the deal. I'm not here for subs or views or money. I don't care if I have a hundred subs or a million. And I don't ever intend on trying to make money off YouTube. One, because I don't need it. And two, because I think that would ruin what I'm trying to do. And I want to keep what I do pure and simple and fun. See, at the end of the day, I'm proud to say that I'm a retired 50-year-old stay-at-home mom that lives on a mountain in beautiful, sunny California, living the dream. And I do my little comedy sketches when the kids go to bed because I think it's fun. I really don't care. And I really do have thick skin. And that intimidates the hell out of you, doesn't it? Now, that's your problem, okay? So to make the statement that I'm the reason why people unalive themselves after everything that's come out of your mouth the last four years, it's really priceless. And to block people who are paying members of your own channel because they happen to like my comedy and you don't, well, that says a lot more about you than it does about me. And that's really sad. Now, let's look at the bigger picture here. If you go skydiving, you have to sign a waiver saying, I know I might die or get hurt. When you go on YouTube, realize you might get doxxed, you might get made fun of, and you might want to cry after what you hear that people say about you. And if you can't handle that, don't come here. And if you do come here, don't bitch about it. See, if you're 18 or older, you get to make your own choices. So make those choices knowingly and own them. Stop blaming other people for the results of your own actions. No one's a victim here except of their own circumstances and their own choosing. And having a disability that no one knows about because no one actually knows you doesn't absolve you of bad behaviors. Would what Hitler done have been okay if he had a bad back and fibromyalgia? I don't think so. See, life's not a video game. There are no restarts. There are no do-overs. Sometimes the hardest thing to do in life is to do nothing. So let's live life like it's fun. Let's live life like you only have one shot. Ignore the negative. Forget about the drama. Stop playing the victim because no one's going to save you but you. Choose happiness, not hate. Stop being so serious. Laugh at yourself. And at the end of the day, just say no to butt hurt. Now, I know I'm a strong personality. There's no gray area with me. You know, you're either going to love me or you're going to hate me. And that's okay. Because I'm either going to intimidate you or inspire you. And that's your choice. Okay? Thanks for listening, everybody. And make your own good choices. And just say no to butt hurt. Bye!